Like these days, uh, people are just fucking moan about it. Like, what are you taking my throat for with a fucking burner? I was like, you just answered your own fucking question. <laughs> Take them out. <laughs> Burners, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do you want to like list, like say, repeat what you just said, and yeah, yeah. think about what you just said, sort of thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of attitude as well in uh, in that respect. Um, I think the rules of graph, you know, like fucking. Throws over tags, dubs over throws, pieces over dubs, blah, blah, blah. It's all kind of gone out the window since, like, the 90s. It's all, like... The principles have kind of moved a bit. Yeah, they? people, like, people, like... I feel like people... It's an egotistical game, but it's very more ego now. It's like people would rather fucking, like, work on their egos at being some sort of, like, bad man rather than working on their letters and making them speak for themselves. <laughs> You need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Yo, Nolan Poland Records for underground classics. NolanPolandRecords.com. Box created. Killer Keller. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Oh, tight. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct central London. <coughs> or central as you need to be. You don't want to be anywhere else. Trust me. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight. Strangestation.co.uk and nopolishrecords.com. No polishrecords.com. No, you know what it is. Anyway, big shout out to everyone that's got the television app. Hold tight. To all of you like the sport and arts, you know what it is. Get all your content on there for free, for free. Android, App Store, you know what it is, Apple. Um, we have a gentleman who has a friend of mine from the Brum country and a legend. I'm going to throw the legend word out there because there ain't no one like him. There ain't ever going to be anyone else like him. The face with the brace, the stick of Don, the piece extraordinaire. One of my favourite graph writers, and I've told him this enough times. All right, FKS original, the mighty Tempo 33. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing round here? I oh, know, yeah, man. Fucking up. <laughs> so, I've been down in London now three times in a month. Three times. I haven't been, I haven't been here for fucking years. Dude, and, and only, <laughs> yeah, it's right. <laughs> it's like buses, all right? The fucking time now. <laughs> it's mad. Wanna go to London? Yeah, go on then. Big up on my Birmingham crew. You know exactly what we're doing here. Big shout out to Russ as well, side the place. Oh, tight. My boy. I mean, that's right, that's right. Your, uh, your, your uh, covert shadow, the guy that protects it's... protects the neck when he's up on the high steps. Yeah, man, my bouncer. That's it. There Bodyguard. You go. <laughs> there you go. Everybody Everybody yeah. needs them. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> needs Trust me, the front of my door is locked solid full of them. <laughs> uh, but Brum as a place, and oh my God, do I love it. I mean, you know I do. Um, I, I, I'm guessing... The, 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 the pond is slowly widening, the net's slowly getting bigger, and, you know, coming down to London, I mean, it's almost like, you know, the door's open for you already, isn't it? Yeah, man. Well, I've painted down in London a few times, man, like, back in the day, like, like me and Nuzo back in the day, we'd come down here loads, like, all the time, but it's just, uh, I don't know, it just hasn't happened for a while, and um, obviously, like, Zonk come up to Brum, um, what is it now? I think it was, like, last year, or something it was like last that. Last year was it? I don't know. I think it was it last year or the year like before. Feels like it was. Yeah. I can't remember, man. It's like I was at work and he just he belled me. He's like, "What are you saying?" I was like, "I'm just working." He's like, mm -hmm. "I'm in Brum for a few hours. You want to drop somewhere?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Really? So I, was like, <laughs> I was at the door. I was gone. So I was in a bit. Bye. Yeah, in a bit, man. Fucking <laughs> blasting it down the fucking road. Like, yes, 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 yes. Mm. Um, but fucking now, nah, apart from that, like, I haven't been down London this much since about 2013. 2013. That's what I'm saying, man. It's like 10 years. Yeah, we used to come down quite often, but we only used to go like Shoreditch. We went Elephant and Castle mm. the once, you know, like because yeah, that was just, that was different. Yeah, it was a whole that different was, vibe. That was sick. Down there is way years. Yeah, I mean, I love Elephant and Castle for it. So many memories and awesome times, but like, yeah. There's Stockwell, which is obviously around there, is a hall of fame that, you know, kind of holds the flag of South. This is it. I don't really, I don't know what the score is down in London. I know a few spots in that. I mean, we did Leak Street last week, which, yeah, I know, it just get done over straight away. Mm. Not really feeling places like that, but it was, there was a jam on, so. Yeah. That's a kind of. Bite the my, bullet. Bite my bullet, do my bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to accept it, yeah. it's not going to stay. But it's the same as if I paint Sally Oak at home. So. Yeah. Birmingham is active, and I, I, I love. 
the energy there is a whole different vibe compared to London, which is, I've said to you before, I've fucking moved there. You know, I, I like, I like the kind of architecture. It's brutalist. And I love yeah, that yeah, brutalist yeah. art. I fucking love it. Um, anyway, back to the script. Um, the pieces stay up in Birmingham for a long period of time, which I fucking rate. Yeah, well, mm, it, 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 they do and they don't. It just all sort of depends, doesn't it? Same as anywhere. It just depends where you hit them. Mm. Rule, I think the rules apply here as much as they do it there. You you hit a rooftop or a trackside or you burn it and you kill it. Like, you, 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 you know, you've earned the right to stay on that fucking wall, you know what I mean? Mm. And then if you've just gone up there with a fucking dusty Phil throwy or whatnot and someone's gone over you, like, these days, like, people are just fucking moan about it. Like, what are you taking my throw up for with a fucking burner? I was like, you just answered your own fucking question. <laughs> Take them out. <laughs> Burners, you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do you want to like list, like say, repeat what you just said, and yeah, yeah. think about what you just said, sort of thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of attitude as well in uh, in that respect. Um, I think the rules of graph, you know, like fucking throws over tags, dubs over throws, pieces over dubs, blah blah blah. It's all kind of gone out the window. Since like the nineties, it's all like the principles have kind of moved a bit. Yeah, they? people like people like. I feel like people. It's an egotistical game, but it's very more ego now. It's like people would rather fucking like work on their egos at being some sort of like bad man rather than working on their letters and making them speak for themselves. What is that? Because I do. I know what you mean. It's um. It's almost you've got a can. You put something on the wall, there you go. It's almost like right to passage. Is that, yeah, yeah, it's that yeah. kind of vibe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So where's, where's that come from? What I don't is know, that? man. It's changed. Like, fucking, for me, like, I've just always stayed in my lane, you know what I mean? Like, mm. and I've worked my way up. And, like, say, like, uh, and each time you, like, receive something sick, like I said to you before, when, like, when I got put in, like, FKS and that, like, mm. it pushes you to think, wow, oh, right, okay, I've got to kind of, like, prove myself a little mm. bit now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like being TWC, that's fucking bad boy. Like recently with um, Zuki, was it Zuki? It's kind of Zuki's crew now. Like mm, I even really? heard it from the horse's mouth himself. Goldie really? said to us, he says, I've given it to Zuk. And because when Zuki put me in it, you always feel a little bit like, okay. So Goldie just like, TWC, he's approved. But then I heard it from the horse's mouth. Wow. Like he did pass TWC on to Zuk. And then the other week we put Fates. Nice. In TWC, we had a little word and we thought about it because he's come back out of nowhere. And really, like, really? Honestly, he wanted, I don't know if you follow him yeah, on, yeah, no, no, or yeah. whatever, but he's just... So he's just bang oh, on what it. What the fuck? Did you even stop? <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? So he's he's in just the, come he, back. He's, he's back in, in the crew. So yeah, no. so we've thrown him in TWC and I've never seen a geezer like, like get so smiley and happy. Like You could just see he was buzzing. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? Like You just, you can, you just see it. Like, you just mm. saw his face light up like he turned into a fucking 15-year-old again and then before you know it, it's on the end of his Instagram name yeah, yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah, he's putting yeah, it yeah, up yeah. And, and I told the others, like, that, not me, like, like Zucky's putting him in TWC, like we'd had a word and put him in and um, they were like, mm, a bit like this, like really rep it sort of yeah, thing yeah. and I was like, if you've seen his face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah. yeah it's like that. So I love that shit. There's nothing more em embracive than, and I don't know where that comes from. It's almost like a, a, acceptance is the wrong word. It's just validation. It's just like all of a sudden you've just got this fucking level up. You've all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a fucking game, eh? It's yeah. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like fucking boo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, like shit. But that's like, what oh. graph is, man. If you're not fucking getting, if your letters aren't changing and you're not getting anywhere, yeah. like I try to always, I don't ever like kind of think, hmm, what are you doing graph for then? Yeah. I always think, I say it in a different way, like, what are you doing graph for then? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like what is your purpose? If you're not doing it any better, mm. obviously you've got. Is it to is it like some sort of anger management or something like that? Or everyone's got a purpose, well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. man. Where mine is, mine's always to like impress myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I like to do a piece and stand back and think, fucking hell, did I? Did I? I just do that. Well, yeah. I've, got, I've got to say to you, like I've got to say to you, uh, I because if you aren't familiar with Tempo Thirty Three and you haven't been around the uh, Birmingham area uh, and the wider area. In fact, we go. I'll go as far as to say national and international because this guy does not start. You will recognise if you're if you're listening and not watching, you won't be hearing what I'm pointing here. But just above us, like this, among maybe one or two others that are on the board here, I'm a huge uh, acid face with a brace, which is something that you embodied early doors. And if you want to check out the last podcast we did back during lockdown, um, you'll get the reasons why. But bro, like you've been so consistent. So it comes from a place where you're trying to impress yourself. Is that the fan in you? 
I think it's ah, I think it's not. It's not the fan in me at all. It's the it's the kid in me. <laughs> like I was a bit of a fucking like. Like, say like school and stuff, I was in bottom sets for everything. Oh. Uh, I was always, always causing trouble. Like I was, I was like a fucker. Like before I was a graffiti artist, I was just like a full on vandal. Like I love kicking fences or fucking like people like if you've ever read like interviews before, like mm-hmm. kicking fences, lighting fires, smashing windows, smashing bottles, doing getting buying a box of matches just so you can genium. Just shit, you know what I mean? Just yeah, the, I do all, know all that shit. <laughs> Don't and, try this at home, kids. You know claws. what I mean? I, I even discovered that like, if you get stones and smash them off the drain, they split in half, and there's all like a shot shit and I'm like I was just constantly just just trying shit hyperactive and fucking mad and graffiti used to stand out to me but what it was I think uh, a lot of people didn't believe in me as a kid growing up sort of thing mm. so if anything ever went down in the area I remember like um, I went on a trip with school once and uh, somebody uh, like this is how petty it is someone chucked some litter in the geezer's garden on the corner of my street so he's picked it up and he's because he's a proper garden proud this bloke, we used to call him Boldy Lux. Boldy. He's, like, he's Lamona of the street and he had the best garden. He had a shade there, he used to call him Boldy Lux. Yeah, yeah. And he's come round my house and fucking goes to my dad, your son's been fucking chucking shit on my garden again. My dad goes, that's funny because he's, uh, he's away with school for the week. <laughs> so that's what I mean. Like, I always get fucking like, he's always, everyone always just pointed the finger at me, sort of thing. And uh, I don't know, I just, I guess being that person where everyone just presumed I was just like a letdown and what have you. Growing up, it's just like this. It's like I don't follow football either or anything like that. Like so, it's kind of like with graph. It's kind of like it's like somewhere. It's where I belong. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And because it's where I belong, I feel like I've got to kind of like if I can't prove myself in a, in other fucking parts of life, then this is it. This is this is my spot, isn't it? So this is where I fucking yeah. channel all my shit and just like. But so, to, 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 yeah, and, and, bro, and I, I do, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your flowers are here, <laughs> right here. I'm telling you, man, like, you go in. And they, <laughs> I remember when we were last... No, the first, first time we went to Brum, <laughs> we were just driving around laughing. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, Driving yeah, around yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I just couldn't believe the seismic... You, you just go in on walls. And yeah. I, I don't know, man. I mean, again, it just goes back to the, the, the caliber of Birmingham. Um, you know, the T Bones, the Causers, the, yeah, man, the yeah. Sums, the Zookies, the, all the rest of the crew. You know, Gent, big up Gent. Um, it's just more. Um, you've this fl- flair. It's just a. It's just a bounce and a funk that. Um, you, I, I don't. Know, I don't think that's trained. I think that's just something that is in your waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think like I think I grew up in an era where. Like, as well, where writers above you, they were inspirational. Like, you did, you, as a youth, you'd look up to them and you'd, mm-hmm. you'd, you'd want to follow their footsteps sort of thing. So, it's like, for instance, in Birmingham, you had Zucky and Corsa. Mm. Like, it's just amazing to see. But then the odd magazine, like, there was a couple of magazines that got leaked around school. Hold No Hostage, Volume 3 was one of them. Huge. Sick mag. Big Southern magazine Bad back boy in the day. mag. And there was yeah. a lot of like, but I didn't realise until recently actually, like um, there's a lot of the pieces in there were on Newcastle way. Mm. Like I didn't realise how sick their scene was. That was like Inch and yeah, 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 people yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hundreds. because every, most of it in there was London, I just presumed because I'm being a kid and mm. like, you don't really know a lot. Mm. I just presumed it was all London. And when I realised it was Newcastle, I thought, fuck me, their scene's good. Yeah. Like I think that's like Dism up there. And Dism was... As well. and then, yeah, it was Dism, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Fucking Dism. Back. And uh, but also in there there was a lot of like like I don't think he was even writing zombie then I think it's just mostly Ray in there mm. and then there was Zunks and a couple of courses and like nice courses and that yeah. and um, to to have a magazine like that when you're like fourteen fifteen you know there you go you've got your fucking yeah. you've got like your I don't know your manual now, ain't you? Like, yeah. Right, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is this is where we're going. Have a good in. cough. Have this a good cough. Do it. Do your thing. See, this is how you know. Oh, we don't hold any hostage <laughs> round here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> someone, someone spiked yeah. his coffee. Someone spiked the coffee. Isn't it? <laughs> Big up, Ross. 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 Yeah, you're there. You're there. You good? 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 <laughs> the nurse is looking after you. Good, right? <laughs> Pull down that <laughs> mini skirt, my dear. My goodness. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's when you find those little nuggets of intel, like magazines back then. I mean, it, it, fucking hell, like, I mean, there were other websites and whatnot. Yeah, but yeah, but there weren't many. The, the, two of my favourite websites would have been UK Graffiti, mm. which um, was basically full of Brum stuff. Yeah. I remember sitting in uh, the library after school. I went to the library because I didn't have the internet at home. 
And I remember sitting, booking a computer and yeah. sitting in after school. Yeah. I think I was there for like four hours and I went through every single fucking picture wow. like of everyone. In from just like clicked on their name and just went through every last drop of it, just oh like just God. taking it all in. And then I found another website on there called uh, Tatty Seaside Town, and What's uh, it called? that was a uh, Tatty Seaside Town, isn't it? That's and basically, it, oh, and it's still up. I found it the other day. Yeah, Google that it in, shit. It's still there. Sick. Tatty Seaside Town, yeah. And it was um, a Brighton-based one, and it had uh, all like Petro, oh. uh, Sept One Four Eight, Siege Fifty Two, just. Do you remember fire? Fire from back then. Fire. Yes. Oh, R.I.P. Bad man. Oh. Morn. No, just, just, Nima. Just the letter game then. So what you got to think is like you look at people these days and the letter games are like you're supposed to like it's evolution. Why are you where you're at now when they were there? Like, mm. like you know, you're talking thirty years ago and people mm. were fucking killing it. Mm. And most people back then would be getting into graph at an early age, like easily in like like between. 10 and 14, you'd get into graph, like, whereas these days, it's weird. People are getting into it in their 20s. Like, the kids aren't really on it anymore. No, like I suppose that. they're just strapped into their fucking gaming chairs well, playing there's, there's a, you know, there's all ages that watch this. So I, I mean, there's I, a, I, a little group of young'uns. That are um, through. And it only takes, it only takes one or two to that, so you smack it, and then all of a sudden, it just opens the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple of uh, young'uns. But um, this is a more open, open question, man. Book. This is a more open question that I kind of want to stick on, because I'm with you. Um, I think there's... I, th- I just feel like, how can how can we go back and go forward. Because how can we... Because I would argue that we're slightly tainted of an age where that was fucking... That back then was cool. That may not be cool in this day. In it, yeah. But I do feel like it was better. I feel yeah, like I personally I, feel I like think better. because it was more raw, it's more natural. I think... So I think uh, with social media, I think a lot of people just like... of just grabbing our culture and just using it as a way to create their own platform and accelerate yeah. themselves, you mm. know what I mean? Like, um, where you didn't have that back in the day. Like, if you was into graph, you was into graph, that's it. You didn't, mm. it weren't about, like, so, I mean, back in the day, you'd paint. A lot of people would take photos, disposable cameras, blah, 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 but not many, mm. it weren't a thing. Mm. Taking like you do your dub and you'd leave it, you'd go mm. fuck off. Maybe it, like yeah. I wish I took more pictures. I never used to sketch either because uh, us being kids, we were a little bit fucking dumb. Because I remember like um, I can't remember, this was like '99 or something or 2000. Loads of people got raided, and uh, as kids, we all thought we were going to get raided. We thought it was all going to be a big network oh. thing, and we're all going to get dumb. But, yeah. but what we didn't realise it was because they were getting raided for trains, innit? Mm. We weren't doing trains. We just thought it was just typical. Typically, yeah. just writers yeah. getting ready. So, if you had any sketches at home, just like after five days of your sketch sitting on the side, like, oh, fuck, yeah. 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 fuck off. That <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and me. it actually stuck <laughs> with me, even though I didn't really sketch and I still don't sketch because it's still embedded in me now. Um, Hold on. You don't sketch? No. This is <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I've never, no. I've heard like. Yeah, I've, you from mine. I've got no, 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 fuck all. Well, fuck all. Sketches. Everything's for I've done a few canvases recently for, for like, because people just ask, like, can I have some can I have this, can I have that, can I have that? And I'm just like, now and then, I'm, now and then I'll say to people, like, get, get catch me at the right time. Fucking, they message me, oh, can I have a canvas, blah, 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 can I have a hoodie? And I'm like, I ain't doing no hoodies no more. I'm not doing any canvases mm-hmm. no more. And the next thing I'm on my ass, and they're like, can I have a hoodie? I'm like, yeah, you fucking can. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> 80 quid done, bro. Yeah, ah, see, boom, wicked oh, sound, yeah. pub. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, that's, um, can you imagine if you did, I mean, listen, the, the quality, it, uh, uh, it's fucking, uh, again, I'm just, I'm super fanning out. I can't believe that you don't sketch, though. Can you imagine if you sketched? Can you imagine if you did have a go at sketching? Do you know what? I envy people that do. Like, I do. I see, like, like, um, on people's black books and stuff, and it does. It makes me a little bit jealous. I'm like, oh, I want one of them. Is it just you've got the attention span? And, it is attention span. I've got the worst attention span ever. Like fucking, I mean, my man here will tell you, I've, I've, I'll start talking about something and then it'll just go on to something else. So then we'll talk, I'll talk five minutes about something else and then we're back in the room talking about what we were originally mm-hmm. talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm, um, yeah, I can't do it. And uh, 
the times that I have tried to sketch, I go, like, I go too big on walls as it is. Yeah. So yeah. then when I try to sketch on paper, like an A4 sheet, I've got a T in there and E in there, and now I can't fit my M in. It's like, fucking hell. No, <laughs> sell a yeah. tape a bit of fucking paper to oh, it. You like. do go really big on walls. I go really big on everything. Oh, okay, yeah. making up for other things, aren't I, actually? <laughs> 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 what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, you do. And I, 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 that's a curious question I want to ask. Like, you know, to facilitate that, that must come at a price, man. Like going big, I always fucking have. I have minor regrets because you know you set your back some fucking money. Before you know it, you don't realise how big you got, and you're just like, fuck no. Oh, big. you do, yeah. man. I've, there's one piece fucking me and Sway did, which was the uh, Attack of the Toys piece, and it is fucking massive. It's ridiculous, bro. Really? I even built my own fucking scaffolding out of shit that I could find around the area <laughs> to get higher. I swear down. Really? Like, there were sleepers and everything because down the side, like, basically, it's, it's under the M... I think it's the M42. Or the M40. Really? No, it's M42. So it's a roadside? No, it's under. Okay. So it's under the motorway. The place is huge. And um, what is it now? Uh, some Someone's... Oh, someone's been fly tipping. I think it's either cement or plaster or something like out of the back of a fucking mix. It must be because the mm. amount of it is fucking gallons of the really? shit. So where I went to paint, it was like a swamp of it and it was really deep. So I had to fucking find loads of slabs that had been ditched there, smash them up, create my own crazy paving. <laughs> for it all, while Sway had his little dry area to create all my own crazy paving. I'm talking massive. Like, do, 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 do. He's doing his fucking outline. I ain't excited yet. But then, because it went uphill a bit as well, and we're, like it's so hard, we're using ladders. I had to then, there's all sleepers around there, collect sleepers and put them and then build them until they were flat. Like I was literally fucking banging them down, getting them perfect, and they were going up. <laughs> Like, up the fucking slope. Dude, you were doing a council job on the fucking... Yeah, I swear to God, <laughs> I built my own deck in there. It was bad Whilst boy. I was well chuffed about it. I kept saying to Sway, look at this. <laughs> what sick is this? But, like, like um, I've got photos of it somewhere. I need to, I need to dig them up. And, uh, but, yeah, that wasted loads of fucking time. Um, but that painting is, like, swear to God, it's got to be 100 feet long. And it's got to be about 30 feet high. And... Uh, <sighs> It, it took five days. Five days? Five fucking days. Did you have to go back and forth? I ate so? it. Yeah. I love the piece on there. But I mean, you had to do it for so long. And we did it at the wrong time of year, really, because it was getting dark at like five, four, yeah, five o'clock, yeah, something yeah. like that. So we did it. There was that. It was like the time of the time didn't really help with daylight and shit. But um, mm. towards the end, I couldn't wait to see the back of it. See the back of it. Did you have to go back and forth to the shop and get paint and everything? Was it a. No, do you know what? They're huge. But you'd be surprised how much paint. We probably spent about a one of each on paint. That's it, really. Yeah. Might have been a little bit more. Yeah. But you'll be surprised how much you can get out of a can. You'll be surprised, like, like you, I learned things along the way, because the way most people paint is they do their outline, and then, but they try and perfect their outline before they start filling. Mm. So they want it bang on. Whereas I do my outline and I'm not really happy with it, but I'm not going to rub it out and unless it's really fucked up, I let out then, yeah, I will rub it out because I'm thinking, because I want to create another one over it that needs to go. But if I've got it kind of where I want it, I kind of just start filling it and then I kind of start, because with the fill colour, you'll kind of go over your outline again before you fill it. Mm. So where I want to adjust it from how it was, how it is originally, I'll just like add a new bit. With the fill yeah, outline, yeah. Give it a so twist. I'm whack a bit here, and then that will create a new letter again. And then I start filling it in. And then if I'm still not happy, I've still got my final outline to go anyway. Mm. So then I'll like I'll just reshape it mm. with that outline. Then so I just so I basically paint my piece probably three times, and it'll it'll morph into how I want it on the last bit, rather than trying to fucking get it right first time. Just like you know what mm. I mean. Like I did a when we was in Leech Street last week. Um, pick up my boy Splat. Fucking yeah, big we up did a black. Come on. We did a split tempo, ain't it? Like, mm. We've been talking about doing this. Big for up years. noise as well. What kind of noise? Oh, yes, noise. Uh, we've been talking about this for years, doing a split tempo. We was all just on about doing a dub, and uh, we've never got around to doing it. And then he's come down with me, and I was like, we'll do the split tempo. And he's like, I said, we'll burn it. And I said to him, this is like, everything happens for a reason. I said, we ain't done this dub yet because this was meant to happen, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. it said, plat tempo for ages because I just couldn't figure out the fucking S. Really? Yeah, so like like I did. I, my weakness is S's, man. S's really? are hard. 
Really? They, yeah, they are, man. They are. Like, you, you got it. The S is probably the one letter that you really got to kind of get it right. Yeah, you can you can get it, end up being too fat in one spot and too, like the middle bar there? I think because it's, oh. the likes of some and Corsa is like yeah, the, but that's the, their letter. You've, yeah, got, you've got to be good at your letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's synonymous <laughs> with a Brum style, and I just naturally think, oh yeah, yeah. Like any, nah, anyone got, in Birmingham can do nah, it. Nah, we've, all, yes. we've all got our fucking weaknesses, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I find that strange. I've seen you do your thing. Do you remember when I filmed it? You were doing this fucking, thing. and I did. You're right. You, you you kind of you know what it's like. It's like. Um, it's like watching somebody on Photoshop manipulate a picture. Yeah, it's yeah, almost yeah. like if you were to really speed it up and see what you were doing, it's a constant adjust. Everything is adjustments the whole fucking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I find it's so intriguing. Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Is that, is that a process that you've learned? Yeah, of? it's just something I've just picked up on the way. So no one that, you didn't show you before? No, nah, no, nah, it's just self-taught. Like. Really? It's just like... But... Um, I don't know, it's just from probably like, I don't know how you come across it, to be fair. Do you ever go away thinking, oh, yourself, oh, I wish I'd done an outline, yeah. better, like, I wish I'd done a better outline, I can't imagine you do, but... Um, yeah, I look back at pieces at times, like, like um, and just think, oh... <coughs> but that's the beauty of it, like, mm. they're, they're the ones that make you better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You look at something you've done, and you'll either say, I'm doing that again, mm. or I'm not doing that mm. again, or I'm going to fucking do that again, but it needs to be more like that. Like, you have to, yeah. you have to walk away from everything with a lesson, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, know, like, you can't, that's, what, that's, that's how you develop, isn't it? Yeah. Like, so, yeah. yeah, it's like my fucking, it, and lately, like, I've been watching my shit change. Like, I've got this new feel going on at the minute, and it's just fucking bonkers. Really? And it started off nice and simple and, like uh, just a few little bits and bobs here and there, and lately it's just gone scatty. And uh, what excites me is because I've seen how it's gone from one thing to the next thing to the next thing to the next thing, and at the minute I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> what about the next thing will be? You know what? As you were talking, because I, I know that style that you're talking about and the fills and the way it's, je- je- it made me it made me go down this headspace of, <clears throat> okay, so it takes time, pain, money slash finance, finance of time to develop a style where you're, as an organism, you're constantly moving and progressing. Yeah, yeah. You've managed, and um, it's very few and far between that people actually do it. You've managed to, I guess, validate these actions and things based on your perception of Tempo 33 as a brand. It feels like you, you're you constantly topping up a almost like a... a uh, you know, a modern day brand of not street art. It's it's harder edged than that. It's but I, I don't know. Brum style, man. It's, yeah, it's Brum style. But it's you Brum style evolved. But it's like you've you, you. It feels like you're very much at peace that this is the engine that you're fueling. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess so, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's unexplainable. To be fair, I'm not too. I couldn't. I couldn't even fucking tell you. <laughs> you don't know where it, where the desires come from to... No, nah, I don't know. It's just... Uh, just just work on each thing differently. Like, I'll always... It's like, what I don't do enough of is, my like bubble letters. So I do want to start throwing out a few of them a little bit more. I'll go with that. But uh, when I do do them, they do look fucking all right. And, but then I'm so... I like my fucking straight, jagged, sharp fucking... Yeah. I love my letters looking like they're going to fucking murder you, you know yeah. what I mean? What are bubble letters going to do? Look, bouncy castle and all that. Yeah. Like, I know they're sick. Bubble letters are sick. Like, I get that. But it's all a little bit... I don't know. I want to, but... I just... I'll tell you why... I'll tell you one thing that... I, I pick up little things from other people as well. And one thing Sabre said, <laughs> yeah, was um, that he treats each letter like uh, and like like manipulates them so that they're in like a fight instance and that's mm. stuck in my head that did that fight instance dude i was just about to say to you your stuff looks like a cross between manga and street fighter like you, <laughs> i swear to god it's true like the way you knock the, the top of the p out and it just looks it's like they're broken apart enough to feel almost like japanese yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Almost let, you're saying. You know what I'm saying yeah 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 i guess you're right man but yeah he said that and that's always stuck in my head that is yeah Fucking, but like, I love his art, but my stuff isn't anywhere near like his. But when he said that, 
like the fighting stance thing. I was like, yeah, you're right. So mm. the next thing, I'm just like, I just love to uh, just, mm. just whack, whack that shit out, man. But I think um, mindsets like that, particularly when it comes to the the, um, the final result of your piece, I think that inspires everyone that you paint with. Like whenever I see a production, especially from the Birmingham lot, FKS especially, like I don't think for a second that all of you come with it each time. It's like yeah, yeah. And I think that, that kind of showmanship, as much as it's fun and shit, there is a level of seriousness to it. It's like, oh, yo, yeah, I'm paying with temp. I know what he's gonna do. Let's fucking go. You know, like you've got to know, man. Like, that's but go that's up. my fucking way with them as well. Like I've fucking been painting with Zucky now for like. 10 Ugh. plus years and I still fucking look over my shoulder and think to myself, fuck. The fucking fuck, general fucking right there. I'm painting with fucking yeah, Zucky. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same when I paint with Corsa. I'm the same yeah. when I paint with fucking Hoax. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, yeah, and yeah. like, I do. I was just like, yeah. I, get, I just get still as gassed as anyone. Yeah, big up Void, big up Oust, all them guys, you know, it's all, all, all inside the place. But like, there is a level. There is a level of, um, uh, of, uh, of Birmingham which is, in my mind, unmatched. You know, it's 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 just this positive edge. Yeah, it's got a good naughty scene. Yeah, definitely. I mean, fucking Crutz, man. He's like re yeah. recently he's gone fucking wow, mad. Wow. Like um, he's one of my favourite writers without question. Just his movements. And he's been he's been bombing a lot lately. <laughs> yeah. And his hand styles are just the popping man. The his hand styles, man. I mean, you know, it's just. The versatility in, in him. He's naughty. Yeah, he's fucking he's, sick. He's naughty. Yeah, big up Crust all day. He knows anyway. Right? <laughs> he knows. He knows too well. Um, give us some fucking stories. Give us some fucking naughty graph stories. Talk about his naughty graph. Bro, let's get some naughty stories out of this man. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I, don't, I never know which one's better than which one. You know what I mean? Like, well, I'll tell you what, if you say them all, then... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say them all. Say them all, and then we'll all be the judge. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think, man. I don't know, like... I think my youth was a bit fucking crazy with the graph sort of thing, like, you know what I mean? Like, all the all-nighters and that we did. Mm. Like, um, yeah, because, you know, some of those more, more you know, low-key night to, to the untrained members of public, that's, you know, that's one night you don't want to be really be kind of... Yeah, I, about, went out, right? I went out with my last the one night and we spent four hours of the night being chased by old Bill. Really? Four whole fucking hours. We like... Uh, and I don't think they were even out for us anyway. Just my ass just gets paranoid, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And what it was, we was underneath this bridge in Small Leaf. And as we popped our heads out, old Bill were there. And he just, like, they looked at us. And because yeah. of, look, like, we ain't doing nothing wrong. We're just walking out. Yeah, yeah. But he's fucking legged it. <laughs> Which is all, almost <laughs> implicates you from the jump. Yeah. As so, I like, I'm like, well, I'm going to have to fucking yeah. run now, ain't it? So next thing, fucking, they're like blues and twos in it. And we're fucking dying it across the Small Leaf Highway. Jumped over the free prong and now we're on the fucking tracks, ain't it? And uh, as we was on the tracks, there's like trackies on there and stuff. And um, next thing he's running down and then he's turned his back and legged it that way. And I'm like, where's he going now? So now I'm fucking running. Mm -hmm. I'm just follow the leader, ain't it? I'm just <laughs> running with him. And then we're back over the fence again. And he's, I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, did you see the dog? I swear he was on some of this night. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, nah, yeah. he's like, there's fucking little dog on this, man. I was like, okay. So now we're like, and then his car's coming and he's all dying off again. Stashes his bag in a bush, which to this day it's probably still fucking there. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it was like fucking eleven years ago, two thousand and eleven. That wouldn't surprise that that that, that would happen. Yeah, and uh, next thing we're just hiding in bushes and all sorts and everything from everything. And I don't know, it was weird. I don't know whether we were fucking stoned or something. Mm. But yeah, we spent fucking four hours just running around. It was a fucking mazza. It's mad. It's easy to do with Birmingham because I feel I feel like. With the spaghetti junction, it's, it was never a, it was never a train hitting city entirely. It was more buses and and yeah, such, you wasn't had it? like TR, which was train riot. Yeah, like they were yeah. mostly on the trains. Oh geez, yeah, yeah. Um, but again, it was uh, it was more about bus routes mm -hmm. in Birmingham. Like I used to, uh, my dad had an A to Z, didn't he? And basically, like each time I'd done a bus route, I'd get my highlighter and I'd mark it off to say I've done it. And he was asking me once, what all this yeah. fucking, what's all this about? And I was just like, uh, I didn't know what the fuck it's saying. It's my ideal trek, I like hiking. In it, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fucking, so I used to like, mark off what it was. It was all about bus routes and it was all about bombing the buses, like scribe, scribing the buses, yeah. hitting the front panel above the front window, maybe doing every window uh, on the stairs and yeah. we got on the side there. We used to get the girls, like, um, 
to what you call it, there was this spot where we lived and there was like um like a bush. We used to say, like say that so if the bu- the number four bus we used to do so mostly. So if it was heading to town, the girls would ask the driver, Are you going Are you going to Hill? which was the other way. Mm-hmm. And the driver would be like, no, nah, no, nah, you need to be on the other side, innit? And while, while, while they're keeping him busy, we used to just fucking hammer. I love the it. The back of the bus. And all, it's bad. Just fucking you know what I mean? They love chicks. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah, they? yeah. And you wouldn't think anything yeah. about it. And fucking... And there was no... Uh, I think that potentially my... I don't think there was even cameras on the buses. There used to be the, the little the little window at the end and he'd look up in the mirror to see the rest of the yeah, bus. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, if yeah. you had that. Yeah, like... No, no, no. Yeah, no. they used to... What they had, they had like... They had like, they must have some sort of driving seat where they look and they'd be like, they must have a mirror which went through a screen which went to a mirror ball on the top deck. Fucking hell. And that's how we'd see the rest of the bus. That's how they'd know if you was messing about on the bus and stuff like that. Wow. And, um, Pull any punches, man. Yeah. And, um, so you, I mean, you, and, and fuck me, they're driving, riding the buses then. It was like riding a fucking tractor in a fucked up farm. They were bouncing everywhere and telling really? you. And you'd have to wait for the bus to stop to tag it. But even when it stopped, it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like they it's were old rattling shit. like yeah, yeah. fucking. If you, like trying to get your fucking. When it's driving, dropping a tag was just impossible. Oh. And when it pulled over, like I remember like being at a rave one night and I'd had a load of pills. And I was going the bus on the way home once and it was rattling like fucking. And it was rattling that bad, I thought I was about to die. <laughs> Like it was not helping me out at all, man. It was like I'm sweaty, I'm anxious, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like mouldy and that, and I come down and the bus is rattling and I'm like, oh, I was like, oh my God, I fucking can't cope with this. Uh, see, it's cause I was you... going to vomit. Oh, fuck <laughs> that. I can only imagine what the buses were like back in the day. That was just such a beautiful sight to behold. They're all inside been Fucking, don't yeah. try this at home. We do not advocate it, all right? It's a nice little story we're having. You yeah, mind your business, bus, don't do it at home. buses hardly get hit, though, these days. Yes. No. Nah, they don't, because they're just, they're just covered in cameras and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Uh, they've just gone up in fucking... Gone up in the world, you know, like yeah. everything else. But there is... I, I'm, I don't know, is it tolerated? I can't... I can often... I can't weigh it up with Birmingham, especially Digbeth being as you know prevalent and commercial as it is. Um, Digbeth being an area in uh, in Birmingham that has the highest um, attack rate of, of graffiti on on surface. Is it tolerated in Birmingham a lot more? Isn't it? Nah, it's, um... For that reason, I mean, it is in Old Street, East London, and stuff. Yeah, Digbeth's a Digbeth's Digbeth, and it's it's you can fucking. Paint there, can't you? You, you can and you can't, but really? it's. It's not like you look at a place, you know what I'm mm. saying? A lot of people will just leave you to it, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, like, if you, if you, if you, like, for me, like, if I'm going to do dig, I've got to find somewhere, I'm going to mush it out and do something properly, you know what I mean? I do the odd little thing up there. I don't, I tend to kind of allow dig off a little bit. Um, yeah, but you were like, one of the main proprietors that said, Yeah, off. yeah, yeah. Like, this, this guy here is one of the main key ingredients that made pretty much. Set yeah, back dig in 2000. And, it was like 2009, yeah. it was just me and a handful of others, just me and Nuzo mostly at first. Yeah. Um, we just attacked it hard with posters and then Nuzo, Nuzo started doing the odd bits here and there. Yeah, big up Nuzo. You had 48 as well and he'd jump yeah. with them and they'd, they'd get bigger walls and NFA would jump on with them and then mm. before you knew it, it just grew and grew and grew and now it's just ridiculous. But it's all been quite like developed and a little bit... Like, people are happy with what's there now but they don't really want any more ready to it. It's gone a bit weird. But like, there's there's potential in other areas to do exactly what we did at the start. There, this is what I keep saying mm. to everyone. Let's just move to like this spot. I'm not going to say where mm. because because you know I'm not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't giving out the up, fucking yeah. hints to yeah, fucking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But <coughs> like, it's what we need to know. And I know people who watch the podcast are just like, yeah, yeah. Mind your business <laughs> out there, all right? <laughs> but like, tell a story. There's a there's a there's an area that is similar to how Digger before was back in the day. And it's what we need to start kind of concentrating on a bit, yeah. and it'll that will grow then yeah. into like because there's a lot of um, there's just a lot of buildings and stuff where people won't be too they just don't they don't look after it much, you know what I mean? Because yeah. that's, 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 that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. It's like um, it's like vans and stuff. Like if like uh, I've done a few pieces on vans, and it's funny because when I when I when I do a van, I burn the van. Mm-hmm. Like a fucking, and I've been inspired by London for that because yeah, yeah, I see yeah. how the vans look oh, I here. I love it. I love the way they and, roll. And uh, they're just like they're just covered. Like yeah. if say like for instance, 
chicken zombie with van yeah, like it's that. end to end edge to edge so sick it's filled and uh people don't do that in brum but i've done a few like that now and um it's all inspired from there but then yeah. people this is the thing people in brum are like oh did you have to do that and it's like <laughs> what, what, why because it's a burner like mm. you're just presuming that i've asked yeah, just because yeah. i've done a burner it's like like no go look at the van it's clapped it's got a few photos on it, a few tags. How long have they been on there for? Yeah. Year, two years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This guy ain't cleaning his van. Yeah. This guy is rolling around with a battered van, like... And he'll love this. This yeah, is a win. Any. So, like, you know, fucking... It's the same as doing any spot. A van is the same as a spot. You assess your situation, you think, right, I'm going to hit that. Like, me and Zucky did one recently. Like, got there, says to him, look, we're going to have to get there for about seven on a Sunday morning. Seven o'clock. Who's going to be there at seven on a Sunday morning? No one. We could still hear a rave going off, actually, when we was painting it. It was a mad day. We could hear a rave going off around the corner. At... And it was mad. The rave must have finished at 10 o'clock. And we were still fucking painting. And it's gone quiet. But then, uh, then next thing, because it's a Sunday, people were practising the church bells. And I was saying to fucking Zuck, I says, this is a fucking gone from one end of the scale to the yeah. other, isn't it? First I listening it's to the tunes in this fucking beautiful? rave and That's now so it's all sick. church bells and all fucking um, nice. You know? I love that shit. Yeah, so, but like, like I say, like, every spot's about, like, looking, like, assessing what you're going to do. Like, I've got spots that you could never hit, but now it's that kind of... Um, time of year where you know the fog's coming now mm. now you can hit that fucker yeah. i remember doing i did a rooftop in fucking and uh we went past it earlier i mean rough on my ear and i pointed out to him there's like a sob on there and i've gone up there with the ladders and i've done this like kbs dub over, nice. over above him but i've done it in yellow and yellow should wax so i had to like i've done it with ladders i've outlined it done it in yellow mm. yellow drips into the wall and it sinks into the mm. wall so i had to then go back to the start and fill it again with yellow. So I'm not only doing a rooftop, like, and I did it at eight o'clock in the fucking day. What? And it's on a junction in which is fucking mm. raving as fuck. Yeah. But the reason I did it was because it was kind of like autumn, winter, and the road opposite it was about seven ish when I come up this road and I could see this. I couldn't see it because of the fog. I couldn't see the wall. And I was like, ah, fuck. So I was straight yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah, ladders, yeah. paint. And I just went up there and it was like eight o'clock on the fucking night. Oh. And I just done this KBS. Like, like if I did it at any other time, if you went for that fog, you, you're just you're just gonna be spotted. But it covered me and I was up there for about oh. an hour. Because it's ladders, it takes a while. So I was up there for like an hour, hour and a half or something. And I did and I didn't just do some quick shit, I fucking put some letters in, like, like some fucking arrows whipping off it and a bit of this and a bit of that. Dude, I'm still standing there so now. Many and fucking questions. How do you ma how do you compartmentalize the anxiety, fear, the stress that all of that comes into play when you're doing something so brazen, and at the same time, stay stoic and do some of the most wildest of styles you can possibly do. Without... Well, you've got two you've got two choices. Well, you've got two options. Then it's kind of like, is it worth getting nicked for? Is it not getting worth nicked for? If it's not worth getting nicked for, don't do it. But if it's such a banger and it's worth getting nicked for, you just got to go in there and just think you're in a cell tonight. So, really? it's like, yeah, it's, that's the only way you're going to do it. You've got to go with the fucking... If you go up there, oh, oh, shaking fucking like a fucking shitting dog, like, like fucking... <laughs> you're going to end up doing some horrible shit, ain't you? And you just want to get in and out. If it's a fucking sick spot, you need to kill it. You need to murder that spot. If it's a naughty, naughty spot, so it's like in the middle of town, on top, or next door's house, the Nasbo got a spot there, mm. and the letters and the film mm. is sick, mm. and and it's good because it's such a banger. It needs a banger to be in there, and they've yeah. killed it. Do you think the banger makes a difference of the like? Right, does the, does the banger combined with the location, particularly for places like Brumware, rooftops and um, and high streets and places like that are, are predominantly here. Do you think finding the right banger for the right place creates longevity? Um, <laughs> um potentially, not necessarily. Because uh, I think some of the most banging pieces that I see out there, they stay for a while. Yeah, they do. Um, but again, it like it goes back to the situation with like how it was looking before, and yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. If no one's yeah. looking after their spot, then because <laughs> like uh, it all depends what you hit. Like like I say, Sunday is the best day to fucking. 
like murder shit. What's the deal with the daytime? That's like fucking, like in the morning sounds so full on. Yeah, because everyone's in bed, bro. But what if they were going to work? On a Sunday, you know, they've got to sort the lights out, haven't they? <laughs> well, they might be. <laughs> I mean, you know. But, but that's the thing, yeah, they could be. But not even like, yeah, you could, you could end up there going on a day where they're like, right, they, in their mind it's like, right, I'm going to catch up with some shit on Sunday. And yeah, yeah, true. Turn up, but it's never happened. And the last fu- things they want to give a fuck about is people that they may deem as going to work. Yeah. And I think another, f- but the thing yeah. is, like, even though, like, say, there's me thinking, right, I'm going to do this now at this time because no one's going to be there. What, what I don't like, really, is you don't know whose shit you're paying for starters. So you, you don't know what the fucking outcome might be. But also, you've got all these cameras that are hooked up to people's phones and, like, That's the other thing. and shit like that. Like, fucking, like, someone tried to uh, do my mate's van. Not long ago, and immediately on the phones, I did it. Like someone's like ring doorbell shit, ain't it? So really? obviously their phone, like ring doorbell's lipped to your phone, ain't yeah. it? So it's a bit of movement, and just someone on the cameras just fucking walked up their drive, and then obviously their lights come on, and then they think, fuck it, and then he's jogged on again. Yeah. So you don't, so like that's, and they've seen that. So imagine that pinging the moment you get to the spot, and you just start painting, and you're aiming to do it for a while. Like you don't know what's gonna. Has that ever happened to you? I don't know what's gonna happen. No, it's never happened, but it could, couldn't it? Yeah, could it? <laughs> it well, I mean, what you're precautions do you do? Because again, you're, you're, it's not like you're, you're not, you're not off a beaten track. A lot of these things are in action when people are around. Do, what do you put your mask on? Is it what's the what's the deal? Because you don't want to be seen in that. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's tricky. Well, if I am looking to do. <laughs> Something that's going to last a while. Mm. I have to. You got to scope it a few days before. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like you got to. You got to go. You got to look and see if there's any cameras. You got to look at the state of the camera as well. Mm. Not just fucking think. Oh, there's a camera. Well, oh, fuck this. Yeah. If it's some fucking shed thing, yeah. like from fucking back a day, and like, big massive fuck yeah. off things. And the like likelihood is they won't check it anyway. They'd be too busy yeah. looking for murders and rapes and shit. I don't well, want to look for that. Shit. <laughs> Not in your business, fucking hell. No. <laughs> but yeah, like, like fucking street cameras and shit. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone's watching them really, unless something happens, and then they might have to go back and, back and have a look. look through it. But at the time, I don't think anyone's really, really looking through it. I mean, I did street. I think it was last weekend. Um, mm. you know, that was again. That was only about eight o'clock. I was pissed on my face. Really? Yeah, and I was just like, yeah, shut us. But like, I've been out for a drink. Been out for a drink with Zucky actually. And, um, yeah, it was still quite early and I had a can of chrome on me and fucking, fucking we walked down to the, uh, the shop for some food. Afterwards, I just clapped everything. Really? And I've wanted to hit... Mm. ...for ages. Um, I'm just happy, like, I can just mm. tick it off now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's... it's... I mean, if 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 you're a season, then you, you're drunk and you've got a can. It's always going to be trouble, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I've uh, I've smashed some spots piss before, and I've gone down there the next day or whatever, just thinking, oh, I might go and have a look at. Any what regrets? I've done. Do you have a regret when you get, get there? And you're like, fucking, I've, I hammered it a bit too. My hard, fucking heart falls out my ass sometimes when I'm looking at the bums and I'm like, yes, nice, nice, nice. And then you see one, and you go, oh, really? Really? <laughs> you're gonna do this, like, oh. Oh, shit, and yeah. you just think, oh fuck, that's gonna fucking come back. Yeah, 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 and then, yeah. I mean, you just bind your time, thinking, when, when's it gonna happen? Mm. And you don't. So you just like, <laughs> so one of our mates went bombing last night, and uh, as I was on my way to fucking Rusters this mm. morning, I, he'd fucking, I seen that he'd hit a couple of people's cars <laughs> and that. Oh shit. I ain't gonna say oh, who went bombing, dude. you know who you are, I'm gonna send you the video later, because I did a UV and I went past and filmed it, because I was like, because when I seen it, like, but I love that about graph, like, if you're not making me go, <gasps> like this, you know what I mean, then, like, it's all standard, like, come on, we've, we've seen everything, mm. we know what people can do, but when, when I seen that, I was like, oh my God. Mm. Sent him a voice note going, oh, he'd have a bit of a drink last night, did you? I don't know if he's got back to me yet. Oh, Can't wait till he does, though. And like we say all the time on this podcast, don't try this at home, all right? Yeah, we don't condone this sort of stuff. It's a nice little story, you know? Cowboys and Indians. And yeah, it's all Things like that. These, you know, there's just t- trials all and tribulations. Yeah, all fantasy. Yeah, it's just just stuff, you understand? Yeah, just make a Lego street and yeah, do it. Yeah, it's uninsulted. <laughs> and, yeah, you can do, yeah, you can play Lego. That's yeah. equally as good. Go fishing, play darts, yeah. Yeah. drink yourself to oblivion, or do something. Yeah, stay in your fucking lane. Yeah, st- yeah. <laughs> What's the future, brother? What is the future? I don't know. You tell me. It's unwritten, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's unwritten. I, I often feel like I often feel like with the likes of you, Temps, is that you will just continue 
and in something, something of a greater magnitude because you've been so thought through on every single graffiti discipline, whether it's stickers, whether it's T-shirts, whether it's illegal, legal, commission, piecing walls, trains, dead, dead, like you pretty much, uh, there isn't one, you, you recultivated and gentrified um, at early doors, you know, um, some yeah. of the most commonly used areas of Birmingham and, and that I'll give you flowers on. Well, I fucking try to keep it as le- uh, illegal as possible, man. I'll say like my shit's probably 97% illegal and then, you know, there's a fucking exception in it. Like Sally Oak, League mm. Street of the week. Um, what is it? A place called Ghetto Golf. Like they like issue, issue you some paint and that and everyone mm-hmm. will do that like um, now and then. But now nah, I'm not really, not really into that. Well, is there a, it's there's no a point. It's not what it's for. Yeah, it's what it's for. It's not. It's not about that, is it? Yeah. So, and it's like, like say, like with the hoodies and the merchandise and shit like that. Like, I have gone down that road, and I've backed off from it now because, like, the way I say, it's like. It rhymes, it's kind of like sell out rhymes with fell out, and I did. I fell out with myself by trying to fucking push these jumpers and bits and bobs because then you're in demand, and I'm, I hate being in, I hate being like, oh, have you got this, have you got that, have you got this, have you got that. And I don't, you don't like not, being in demand, you don't like that. No, I don't, it's pressure, mm. and I don't need pressure, I don't want pressure, I want flow, in it, and mm. it's not flowing for me. And I think, and I just think to myself, right, it's not your time, innit? That's why, like, mm. Like, I love painting, like, and I'll just go out and push the painting because that's, that's what gives me enjoyment, like, so doing, that's why I hardly do any, like, I do canvases when I'm a bit on my ass, but at the same time, I don't, I don't really want to. Of so course, I've it's scarcity, kind of isn't just it? Knocked it? I've knocked it back a lot. Like, I did quite a bit during lockdown and stuff, but, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, it's, it, if it becomes... I don't know. I don't know if you'd say it becomes like work. I don't know what it is. It's different anyway. It's just not. But it's not right. If you if you can do that, and you've got the drive to do that, and it doesn't bother you, then safe. But mm. it, it 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 kind of made me feel a bit like brought me down a little bit. You know what really? I mean? I felt like I'm doing it now for the wrong reasons. And like, you mm. know, what I'm saying like, mm. as soon as I have to, I'm doing it for other people now. Yeah. And it's never about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about, you, you do it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't do this shit for others. You know what I'm saying? You do it, to, you, like, inspiring others and push, like, your peers, you know. Your peers. Yeah, you know, you're pushing people, you know what I mean? Like, like, rising them to the top and stuff. Yeah, I'll always, I'll always go, yes, I'll always big people up for stuff that they do and all that sort of stuff. But, but then when it comes to, like, it's, I mean, it's lovely. Like, I love it, the fact that people want, stuff of mine but it's just when I go to do it I'm like something happens to me man it's like something like like it's almost as though like something in my brain goes fancy a sleep mm-hmm. <laughs> the mm-hmm. moment I've got to go do a canvas mm-hmm. or something it's like let's have a sit down yeah 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 you know what I mean I just this sit down just fall asleep fall asleep for a sec yeah. I do that in a moment and it's like four o'clock and next thing you wake up and it's like eight and it's like me when I have to do accounts man fuck that sh- fuck off man you don't <laughs> sleep <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have a 20 minute nap if I know I've got yeah. to do some number crunching I'll tell you that much it's, it's, like, work, it's like you're dipping off to Leeds today yeah. like, <laughs> like, and then you've probably got something going on tomorrow and you might interview Keith T yeah. Keith yesterday and yeah. you know, you never stop, bro. No, my brother. Never thank stop. you. I appreciate it. But that's that. because you've got the drive. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's because that's you, ain't it? You've and got where it. does that come from? Do, do you know where that comes from in you? Do you know where that... Because I yeah. think that's the biggest question I think everybody... Just, just, just be yourself, ain't it? But it's hard, though, because people can validate, oh, I'm going to go to the gym. What are you going to the gym for? Well, because it's healthy and I feel good. Yeah, yeah, you all get people. But it's not the you're, you're not going to start. Fucking, <laughs> never look happy about hey, going. Hey, I'm like. looking good. I might just start selling some merch. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like, everyone's everyone's got their own thing, yeah. don't they? It's like yeah, yeah, and and like it's like people who go to the gym. Like those people that are wham. Like fucking, I go to the gym, and I don't go for months, and then I'll go again, mm. and then I won't go for a year, and then I go again, and because I've got the same one, you'll see people that was there all that time, the other times, and you can see the size of them, but mm. that's their thing, isn't it? That's their thing. That's their thing. They love it. You, can, you know who loves what? Like, yeah, but you want some parkour shit, bro. You look, I swear to God, like, you, I mean, you give people one for the money. I mean, look, if you ain't watching this, this guy's a, you know, heavily stocked, looking good man. Like, he's, you, you've got your thing sorted. I, I'm pretty sure you can hang off any kind of, you know, surface and just... Get... Oh, I love a bit of climbing, man. Yeah. Yeah, fucking Yes. 
Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I guess I'm getting it's... a little bit fucking <coughs> ropey these days. Now I'm on the road to fucking 40. <laughs> but like, yeah. so, do you know when you run across the road and you've got like the fucking, the, like the metal railings in the middle, yeah. like back in the day, I'd run up to them one hand, flip over. over. Yeah. Now I run over, go to do it and I stop. <laughs> and it's like both hands, <laughs> let go, let go. <laughs> but I, st- but I, st- I still do try, try my best to fucking climb some shit. Me and, no- uh, me and Noise did a rooftop. Um, I think it was last year or something. And uh, you had to go on some mad, mad route to go up there. I had to uh, ring my boy Comms and ask him, how would you get up there? <laughs> he told me, I was like, okay, safe. And it was, it was, it was a mad one. And uh, there was corrugated roofs like this and you had to walk over. You had to, it's like a bit of a fucking, it was a trek to get to the spot. You had to go all right, round to the back to climb up this fence onto this roof. There was a fucking security a building next year and there's a bloke through this window this window was so crystal clear and you could just see this guy on security just sitting there looking at these monitors and we're like climbing up like as slow as fucking past like this you know what I mean and I never realised what I never realised is noise hates heights (laughs) and I'm talking on this mad little journey and it's fucking noise corrugated roofs and we've got to go at least about fucking We've had to walk across about two factories, basically, to oh. get to this roof spot, any. And I'm carrying ladders on my shoulders. Yeah. Like, fucking... And where it's just a bit like this, I'm just strolling across, walking yeah, yeah, with these yeah. ladders, and I'm turning around, like, where's he at? Like, and, like, he's fucking holding on for dear life, shaking, man. Every time I see a post or anything on Instagram, someone's shaking, like, I was taking yeah, me yeah, and saying, yeah, Because yeah. <laughs> he, he don't like it, but do you know what? I really rate how he come with mm. me. He, he did it. He did it. And then he didn't just think, fuck these temps, I'm going. Mm, mm, mm. He stuck with it and he did it. And, um... And he always says to people, yeah, Tempo's just walking across like it's a tightrope with fucking ladders mm-hmm. in his hands, like, and fucking... And then I'm, but then I'm having to backtrack as well because he's still going and I'm like, talking through, like, like oh, come on. <laughs> but that was, that was a mad night as well. And that was, I remember that was during Corona as well. And um, I got, then I had to put my ladders on this, like, sloped felt roof, which was quite weak as well. Yeah. So I had to fucking... I had to think, right... These might go through the roof at some point. So, but the spot was worth it, man. And it was on the way to my gym as well. That's why I wrote, I wrote next to it, have a good sesh. Nice. So that I could see it. <laughs> so, so it's when I pull on this junction, it's right there, up there. And it says, have a good sesh, isn't it? And I'm like that, but I always forget to look see. at it. What's the attention to detail. <laughs> yeah, big up noise, man. Look, I'm not done with you. I'm not really a heights kind of guy. But it is a banger. But but, but to be fair, oh, <clears throat> noise is like a kid, in a kid in a candy store. Like Once he was up there, as much as he fucking was a bit shaky, he's, he, he could spot little things he wanted to hit. So he was still kind of Spider-Man in it. And he was meant to be looking out for me. To be fair. And every time I seen someone, I'd freeze and then I'd look because he was meant to be giving me the odd whistle, but he weren't. He was doing throw up somewhere else on the roof. <laughs> and when he'd come back, I'm like, where was you, man? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, there's a road opposite lighting me up every time. I need a little so I can stop sort of thing, innit? Oh, but like, now nah, he's, he's off doing his thing. But there was a caravan by us, by us as well, which could see you clearly. Mm. And this girl was walking, because it was in, it's like, but you had to go through a fence and everything. The fence is open. I'm like, shit, so I'm just seeing, seeing this yeah. woman's walk to the caravan. Next thing, the caravan, and what she, she was doing, because uh, it was during um, lockdown and that, she mm. was basically delivering a care package to this geezer. I was yeah. living in the caravan, and then they were chatting there for ages, and I'm just standing yeah, there, dead still. hurry the fuck up and stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> Earlier on, you know, tell us some yeah, stories, and yeah, yeah. fucking best way to talk to me is don't even ask for a story, they'll just come. Okay. Mate, can you imagine like <laughs> can you imagine just like being hanging there and then they start talking about stuff that they don't even realise someone else would be there fucking listening? Yeah, yeah, because they're just there yeah, chatting like I was going, that's no, all shit. Right. I was locked down. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, yeah, it's shit. You're just there with your fingers yeah, going, yeah, blah, fucking hurry out. <laughs> both there ch- chatting in masks, keep your distance, not knowing that just over there in the dark is a yeah. guy on ladders just like <laughs> staying dead still. <laughs> Fucking, but it's a banger and it's still there. Oh man, the story's untold, man. I mean, this is what this is what Graf's all about, and I can see why you, you know, these are these are stuff that dreams are made of. Especially if you're a writer and you can look back on them and talk about them. And these yeah, things, I love a good spot, man. It's all important, isn't it? Yeah, it's all it's all part of it. That's why, like, like I say, like in sailing, tells a story. I'm like, well, it's all a story. Every every last one of them. This is a story. Yeah, that's what I mean. Second like, time in, second time in on a podcast. Yeah, no, go on. You know what I mean, <laughs> we're here, we're out here, we're out <laughs> here. The stories keep on rolling, brother. Thanks so much for passing. I know you're going to no be doing some painting down the road. So I, you know, yeah, I feel like I yeah. feel away. Like you're here for once. Get in. <laughs> in it. Yeah. Now it's going to be a good day, man. Like, yeah. like I say, I'm going to go down Chrome and Black. Going to link fucking. 
like tea kid, fucking mo. I've seen that he's selling like yeah. little pennies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And get on. my get my hands on a couple of those, yeah. I think. And uh, yeah, I've fucking been chatting to Crept and Mia. Like, guys, like hitting something or whatever while I'm yeah, down here because we've chatted about yes, it come before. On. I'm like, I'm down here. Do you want to do it? And like, they're like, yeah, man, let's let's do it. So, got to make the most of your time when you're 100%. in the big smoke. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, you got to. Hey. And you go to Barcelona as well. That's also on the cards, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up Jebba. We can connect. You know what it is. Come on. Yeah, he's, he's just naughty. I love his stuff, man. One of a kind, my guy. Bad boy. Fancy living out there. Yeah, How beautiful is that? Yeah, yeah. Climbing instead of scaffolding. You Climbing palm trees and shit like that. Yeah, that'd be you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. My brother. I've got to behave, man. I'm my wife. Try. Try a little, a little bit, man. <laughs> Just a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Killer Killer Podcast. Out like him was out of fashion. You know, he's sharing, he's caring. Tell a friend, tell a friend. We don't do it for ourselves. We do it for your health, for your health, all right? Um, crime don't pay, neither do they. Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't. That's one tempo. <laughs> Easy. Respect, man. Peace. Days. Nice one. <laughs> Bad boy? It's alright, that was funny.